August 31st, 1945, Corporal Tank Dempsey, John Banana, Smokey, and Paxton Gunner Ridge all develop a plan to infiltrate an asylum facility in Berlin, Germany, run by Group 935. Their mission was to extract an American spy known as Peter McCain. On September 6, 1945, they arrived at the facility with no sign of McCain. The crew began to be overrun by zombies, and Dempsey would be only one of two people to make it out alive. The Germans found and captured Dempsey, sending him away with the intention of using him for Group 935 experiments and research. On September 17, 1945, Dempsey arrived at Group 935's Siberian facility. He was used as a replacement for a different test subject that had been killed, a Mexican man named Pablo. Pablo Marinus. Totally butchered that. There were two other test subjects, a Soviet named Nikolai Belinsky and a Japanese man named Takio Masaki. All three men were exposed to element 115. The Soviet and the Japanese man experienced memory loss, but Mr. Dempsey became really dumb. Dr. Edward Richthofen, the scientist performing these experiments, attached all three men's souls to a thing called a horcrux. Or, I, I mean a horcrux. Or, I mean a horcrux. A, a, a horcrux. No, I mean the elemental shard, binding their souls to the aether. On September 27th, 1945, Dempsey and the other two lads are put to sleep to be used later. That sounds off-putting, uh, but it's true. On October 14th, 1945, Dempsey and the others are awakened from their slumber. They can't remember who they themselves are or who this insane German man is. The German man asks for assistance from them, and without hesitation, they agree. Wow, I wish I could find a woman to do that. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It, it's a joke. Calm down. On October 21st, 1945, Dempsey and the lads arrived at 935's Rising Sun facility in Japan. They needed to get a diary or something. I, I don't know, who cares? Rick Toffin wants to take over the body of a 10-year-old girl so he can control the zombies. Boundaries, dude. On October 28th, 1945, the team went back to Darice. They developed a plan to teleport to the moon and confront Samantha, but the Wonder Waffa fried the teleporter and sent them through time, causing Richthofen to drop his diary. They ended up at the Kino facility on October 28th, the same day, but in 1963. The Kino facility was operated by Group 935 out of an abandoned theater in Germany. They found a lunar lander just hanging around and took it to the Ascension facility in Soviet territory. They were able to help a scientist lad who had his body destroyed by Samantha's corruption, but Richthofen got his diary and they dipped. Dempsey and the lads helped Richthofen retrieve the Vril device and the focusing stone, and then went to the moon with him to confront Samantha. Richthofen ended up taking over Samantha's body. Maxis blew up the Earth. It was a whole thing, you know? Sometime after Earth's great destruction, Dempsey and the Buds ended up time-traveling back to the Pentagon in the 1960s. They were discovered by Schuster and Purnell, and were then held captive in Hangar 4 on Groom Lake due to Element 115 exposure. Dempsey has been traumatized by the fact that his best friend in the whole wide world used him to take over the body of a 10-year-old girl, ew, and that the Earth had also been blown to smithereens. The premise version of themselves teleported into the cell where the original Dempsey and his crew were being held captive. Primus Nikolai informs the Ultimus crew that a war must be fought and that they need the help of this crew. Primus Nikolai calls it the Great War. Well, it's just great that we got friggin' blue-balled because we'll never get to see the Great Zombies map. Just great. I mean, what the f- After recruiting the Ultimus crew, Primus and the boys went to Camp Edward, a broken arrow facility, to get the Elemental Shard. What is the Elemental Shard? I don't know. Moving on, they were denied access to the Shard by the intelligent computer program known as Rushmore, who was assigned to protect the Shard. The crews run around, do a few chores, you know, suck its wiener a little. Then they had to fight the Avogadro. Yeah, that annoying bugger from Transit. Anyway, they get the Elemental Shard, and Maxis was able to use the last bit of his power to send Samantha and young Richthofen out of Agartha and back to Earth. He was killed by Dr. Monty in the process. Samantha, grieving her father, unleashed the most tremendous fart, I, I mean, pulse of energy, destroying Camp Edward. Sometime after the events of Camp Edward, both Ultimus and Primus found themselves in a forest together. Nikolai gave everyone but the children a drink laced with poison, killing everyone. This was in an effort to end the paradox and Samantha's suffering. Samantha and Eddie were able to escape to an alternate reality, which then became the only reality. 
I guess. However, we were gifted the Vanguard Zombies mode, so... If you liked the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. I try to post a video like this at least once a week, and I live stream on the channel three or four times a week, so subscribing is your one-way ticket to guarantee a notification every time I do one of those things.